Hello everybody, Connor here with the team for Quistus' lost, not lost chapter, Heretics of Fenia Plus. Uh, I'm bringing Onion Knight, Sid Reigns, and Quistus uh, without her LG. Yeah, this is, I know people have been saying it's doable with it, and it is, I, I already cleared this, but it's not exactly a walk in the park if you don't have it. I guess I would leave my other option being a Cloud of Darkness, but I don't want to use LD on Cloud of Darkness. I don't know, having a DPS like that, not even at full power, that just sounds rough. And that thing is going to heal itself up, so, yeah. <coughs> oh, sorry about the sneeze. All right, Jack call. I forgot to do that in my previous attempt at this, which I failed. Yeah, I forgot to put Jack call on right away. All right, let me see 65, get ice enchant going. That's doing ones as expected. Put Kurosame call on. Not doing ones. Somewhat unexpected. Uh, yeah, let me use an LD. Bring Onion Knight up front. And how much damage is that going to do to his HP bar? Cool, like fifteen percent. Forgot LT. Eh, hey, you know what? For funsies, let me bring Onion Knight back up. Man, this is crazy. Um, da da da. Let me see a 65 my way up because uh, I'm not going to be able to do that a lot. This is probably going to put B below the threshold, which will make it put up an HP shield. Yeah. Uh, let me actually do this. And on any night's next turn, I'm just going to go ahead and burst with them. So let me do this. Punch through the shield, please. Okay, it, it looks pretty well. I'm guessing it's in about the thousands range. Either way, my plans still stay. Let me launch this bad boy. I s <laughs> you know what? That probably could have had better timing. Whatever. Ugh. Oh, but let's just move on. Uh, Ice Enchant. Let me give this to uh, Quistus. And I'm going to, uh, yeah. Alright, what do I got here? I'm in Ninja Stance. Uh, let me get that up to three stacks. I'm going to finish this in the uh, Magic Stance because Sid Reigns uses magic. 
Let me move Sid up front because he's really the MVP in here. I don't really care about Onion Knight's damage here, but... Like, I, I think... I don't even think the finisher's gonna break through that shield, honestly. No, it is not. So I guess I'll... Eh. Who cares? Sid's going. He'll, he'll deal with the shield. Because, it, you know, it's Sid. He's just gonna do Sid things. Yeah. Well, okay. That might not have done, like, anything, but... You know, I don't really care about that. Right. I don't know what the shield on A looks like. <laughs> 5,000. Alright. I should have used your EX there in hindsight, but whatever. Oh! I just noticed how low B's HP is, so. How do I do this? Hit B with generator whip and then immediately hit A. Oh, I have four left. I wasn't really making a mountain out of a molehill there. Onion Eye, uh, is this the first turn he's gotten outside of Burst? All right, let me put Quistus up front so I can see 65 with her again. Actually, I don't really think it functionally mattered. Ah, oh, whatever. I almost used Laser Whip there. That would have been bad. Oh, hey, Sid's getting two turns in a row. Ah, should have braved. Whatever. Okay, so on Onion Knight's next turn, I'm bringing in, bringing in Bart's. All right, get out of here. I will laser whip you. All right, so I'm probably going to summon very soon. What's your bet? Two? One? It's at one. Okay. Okay, so the timing here is going to be pretty tricky. But let me see if I got this. 
So let me hit A with this EX right here. If the game... Okay. Because what I want to do here is go HP plus into um, Sid's LD. So I can immediately get rid of the HP shield on these guys. Got three to generate a whip soft. One, two, okay. What was the HP at? 34 to 33, okay, good. Let me get Wind Enchant. Okay. HP plus to put it below the threshold. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I hope this works. Ooh, 21. Come on. Oh, red numbers, okay. Alright, back... Man, I hope I get Quistus and Salty. I'd like to actually have her be good. Alright. Oh, A's getting close to that threshold. Oh, here, yeah, I guess what I'm gonna do. Actually, first let me do this. Alright, that dropped it below the threshold. Bartz, what are you doing up there? Okay, that's punching through the shield, no doubt. And it'll give the party a huge regen thanks to Kaisa's Colin Bartz. Okay, not huge as I would have thought, but whatever. Okay. Good. I guess. It's good-ish. Oh, for some reason I thought Bartz was going away next turn. Actually, he's going to be lasting a bit longer. Alright, Cavalry Commander. Get that back up. Oh boy. Two? Okay, let me think about this. I gotta think about this a lot. Okay, maintain. Okay, maintain, maintain, ununite. Can't maintain. C65 with Quistus can't maintain. Okay. Well, I would have liked to get another one in, but uh, this is gonna get dicey. Okay, so A is our real threat now.
1%. Okay, that's good. Favorite boy is back. Um, let me do this. I'll bring Mr. Reigns up front. Because, let's be real, he's a damage dealer here. He is what is uh, enabling this team to actually get through the fight. Well, okay, that's Quistus, actually. He's, uh... Hmm. How should I put it? Quistus gets us through... No, Reigns gets us through. Quistus lets us win. Ah, oh, whatever. I don't, I don't really care. Some semantics thing. They're both important. That's, that's all I... Oh, hey, the other one died. Neat. I think this does it. And with less turns uh, than my first go around. Nice. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I said it this attempt, but again, I like the concept of having squishy bosses that can heal themselves a lot. I think the only issue is uh, the way to get rid of the healing is very... Literally only two characters in the game can do it. Unless they count something like Garland mid-launch plus two turn delay, like Sync, something like that. Oh, well. I'll see you in the next video, which, uh, no clue. I think it's Vayne, but who knows? We could get a global first event. We'll see. So goodbye for now.